What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the 90 Degrees Fivecast. Today, we're going to be giving you an update on the Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury fight. As you all know, there's been a lot of updates regarding the fight and a lot of talk. So we thought we'd give our views. Um, let's pass it over straight to Raz. Raz, what's happening? What's happening? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, let's see what's been happening so far. Uh, Tommy Fury's not been uh, attending those press conferences. Um, that's a little bit alarming. Or, or, you know, is he playing mind games? What do you think, though? No, I don't I think, think he's I know he game, just had a baby. I know his uh, missus just had a baby, so yeah, could be that. Yeah, he just thinks, just you know what? Baby. Uh, he's got his own, obviously, he's got his personal thing. He's a new dad, yeah. Mm. So, uh, he actually did come on this week and he was saying, um, he's a new dad, he's only 23 years old, yeah. He's a young boy, he's a new dad, new baby. He actually did come on and he said, um, he's in the middle of camp and out of the blue. Jake Paul is saying, oh, do a press conference. Who the hell does that? There are no professional fighter in the middle of their camp is going to leave and go to a press conference. And this is just YouTube rubbish, nonsense. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have actually said that in, in camp. You know, you just don't drop everything just to fly out to Saudi Arabia for a 10-minute press conference for clout and then come back. Why am I going to drop that and leave my baby and, you know, leave my camp? He said that. Straight that was happened, yeah. yeah. They randomly um randomly press held conference. a press conference. And why am I gonna turn up to a press when I'm having a fantastic camp? <laughs> My camp's gonna be over, then I'm gonna be flying out to Saudi Arabia. But do your press conference there. No I don't know, know if random. Yeah, no, uh, I didn't know they do uh, exactly. random press conference. I thought it's all like set, you know. You yeah, have to, no, but this thing, he's in fun. camp. He's in camp. Jake hmm. Paul's more of a celebrity flying jet setting this, that, the other, doing what he needs to do. Yeah, and then holding a press a press conference, expecting him to turn up, drop his camp and turn up. You forget his brother's Tyson Fury. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's got Joseph Park and everybody who trains there as well. Yeah, he's got uh, Sugar Hill and he's got all these other trainers training them there as well. Yeah, and um, he's not exactly going to drop camp to uh, to fly half a day. Yeah, eight to twelve hours all the way out to Saudi. Do ten minutes, eight to twelve hours back. Then he's got to recover to go get get back into the training again. He's got camp. Well, if that is true. Then that's ridiculous. But no, he said that. He said that straight. He's had two interviews already, and he said that. Look, what am I going to do? Then I'm a new dad. I've got a baby. I mean, you must be taking the piss. Mm. So do you think Jake Paul's trying to rattle him a little bit? Doing well, that? it's not working because he's saying uh, is he, he was actually Tommy Fury. He was saying something I noticed. Um, I don't know whether you've seen the videos, Habib, yeah, and Raz, yeah. I, I don't know. I know Raz has watched. I don't know whether you've seen it, Habib. Um, actually, before I go into that, I'm going to say something. What say do something. you think? How, has your views changed? My, you know, that's, I think that's the main thing that I should be asking first. Have your views changed on who might win? You know, what round it might finish? My view hasn't changed. Um... Because uh, my my views are based on what I've seen from Tommy Fury up to now. Mm. Just because you're having a great training camp, uh, it's not enough time to put that into work in one fight. You know, fighters normally have great camps and they practice lots of things over time and they, then they get better and better. So you can't just show something in one uh, camp. Do you know what I mean? Uh, he, like he has not like I said before, he ain't been active until probably now where he's been, his family's probably pushing him to train hard. So this is probably first time he's actually training hard. So I haven't seen anything yet, apart from the fact hearing that he's maybe training hard. But so is Jake Paul. Um, he's probably training hard as well, harder than his other ones. So um, it's, it's, I still think it's 50-50, you know, who turns up. Um, what about you, Do you know what? Um, I've seen him. He's been putting the effort in. He's working. His uh, head movements, his movements a little bit slow, but so is Jake Paul's. Um, in terms of like him, I think when I was watching his fight uh, training videos, right, it looked like he he recently started because he's got that pressure. You know what I mean? Like he's not been in too deep. He's not been actually taking it seriously. So now he's taking it seriously. And like Ross said, like it takes time, isn't it? 
you can't just get good overnight. But again, it's I, I stick to what I said. It's 50-50. It's hard. I know I can see deals yeah, itching. Yeah, There's one, huh? one thing you touched on, Habib, is the pressure. Like, I know Jake Paul hasn't got experience much, but he's got that. He's, he's dealt with a big pressure in that fighting someone big, big name, like Anderson Silva in front of a massive crowd. That's a lot of pressure. Nerves. Whereas Tommy Fury's never had that. He's only went into a ring where he knows he's going to blast this guy out. Whoever he fought, he knew he was going to blast him out. So he ain't yeah. had that, oh, that pressure, that nerves, you know. That's the other thing he has to deal with. And I don't have to overcome that, yeah. He has to overcome that. Whereas Jake had a bit of experience with that, which is good. Like, you know, he welcomes that kind of pressure. You know he can deal with it. <clears throat> That's the other thing I thought about. That's going to be a factor. No matter who you are, if you can't handle pressure and nerves, and he ain't never experienced it before, and then he had, he's got a newborn, you know, you don't know if, if that newborn is um, on his mind, you know. You know, sometimes they get attached and they want to see the newborn, you know. How focused is he? Bothers them, the focus is off, you don't know. But what are you saying, Bill? Yeah. What, what are you saying? I can see you itching there, like... I'm, I'm itching, I'm itching, I'm itching, I'm itching. I'm the itches, you know yeah. what though? Because, uh, oh, like, um, <laughs> he's gone hench. Like, he, he's looking strong. Like, right. yeah, but size and you know that don't matter. You, you know, it's like it's how you use it. But but he has uh -huh. got a bit of power in his punching. Uh -huh. You know, um, he's twenty three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go on. He's twenty three years old. Jake Paul's twenty six. Yeah. I think he debuted. Tommy Fury actually debuted in um, 2018, just before the pandemic, yeah? And he's had eight fights. You know, everybody's saying, oh, he's been boxing for so long. He's been boxing for so long, rare, 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 rare. yeah? He's been boxing since 2018, but the pandemic obviously put a, a dampener on everything, and he's still got eight fights in, yeah? He was dropping some excuses. Tommy Fury, no, no, no. <laughs> Jake Paul, he debuted in 2020. He's 20. He's setting up those excuses. Nah, I'm not setting up excuses. Nah, Jake Paul has only fought other YouTubers or MMA guys who don't, you know, are striking to finish the game early on. They're not strikers as in, a, in the boxing sense, precision. And they're, they're there to finish thinking. I know you said he, uh, Anderson Silva, fought, uh, you know... Uh, Chavez, Julio, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr., yeah. But again... That guy was way out of his prime. Anderson Silva was in his prime. Yeah? When he was he out of his prime. And Anderson Silva was way in his prime. He wasn't even in his prime when he beat that guy. If they were both in their prime, do you really think Anderson Silva would have won? Probably still would because Julio Cesar Chavez, he didn't really, wasn't doing much anyway. But he was still a good enough boxer, you know. So... Julio yeah. Chavez was such a good boxer, yeah? And Jake Paul is basically, should have been nothing to uh, Anderson Silva. You know that shit was for money, yeah? Yeah, of course, of course. Straight up, it was a money grab. It was straight up a money yeah. grab. But yeah? at the end of the day... I had to make it entertainment, had to make it too many... The thing is, what you guys don't forgot, yeah? Look at all of Jake Jake Paul's training camp. I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. I'm, I still think it's going to be a 50-50 match, yeah? But you can't... When I look at Jake Paul and his training, look at his whole training camp. Everybody there, yes men. Everybody there, yes men. Yeah, look where Jake Paul. Where, look where Tommy Fury is training. He's training in the gym in Morecambe. Mm. Yeah, with normal regular people around him training, and then he's doing his pad work. You know, he's got all the professional people there doing the pad, and he's doing it correctly. Whilst over here, he's got some music running. He's got. The guy going, yeah, man, yeah, man, come on, come on, come on, man, you can do this. And, you know, punch, 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 punch. But when he was doing it against, what's his name? Uh, Rahman. Yeah, Hashim Rahman. When he was doing it against him, he got shown up. But everybody else he's been doing it with doesn't look doesn't look good whatsoever. You're doing all your training. you got all these people. You're on your own. You're not even in a real gym, in that real atmosphere. Yeah, you, you, you got the money, you got the money, you're doing this, you're doing whatever you need to do. But I don't think that's good enough. 
the mental you need to actually live that thing. You need to actually yeah, he's been training hard, he's been doing this. Well that's the thing. He hasn't that's actually he gone up against a guy who lives and breathes boxing like thing he has. You can't say he's been boxing till eleven. What has he been doing since then? He'd only debuted in twenty eighteen, two years before thingy, but he was hit by pandemic as well. So he's got eight fights, the other guy's got six fights. But which boxer has he actually fought? You can no, say I think, no, hold on, hold on. I yeah. think you're um, you're too honed in on the boxer. He ain't fought a boxer. He ain't fought a boxer. Like, you keep honing in on that. But you got to remember, Tommy Fury, the eight fights he's had, terrible fighters. There, there, were, terrible there fighters. were... The boxers. There were beyond... The, you know, <laughs> anyone can be a boxer, bro. Anyone can go and get a license and say, I'm a pro boxer. And they're horrendous. Um... It doesn't matter. If you see that... bro, I'm going to have to pull this up now. You, you done it. I didn't want to do this to you, dude. I did. <laughs> now... Well, I now, up, yeah. now, yeah. now, now, after, I, I, because you keep going on about... Uh, he's not a boxer. He's not a boxer. But if you see... This is what I say. Tommy Fury, who he's fought, yeah. <laughs> Fired up. bro. Let me tell you now. Yo, why why oh. do you look that up, Raz? Yeah, let me put something in. Yeah, Dil, you, you don't Jesus. need to have a gym, right? To Like, you don't need to be at the gym to, to work hard. If he's got the money and he's got the trainers and he's got the facility, he can he can train at home. You know, he can train wherever he wants to train. As long as you've got the actual right trainers and the, like, you know, people, it doesn't matter. You can train anywhere. Some people ain't got space to go gym and they train their warriors. You know yeah, but I mean? Jake Paul ha has been training in good places because he's got money. No, he's been training. No, I'm, I never said I'm not knocking it in that sense, but he hasn't gone up against it. Like you say, I think he's going to get shown up, bruv. I but what I don't get is why are you so convinced that Tommy Fury, just because he's a boxer, like he's going to do a number on him because... All right, look. Right. One of these guys, he, he, he fought, yeah? 2018. 102 losses... He's a journeyman. 10, 10 wins. Uh, all right, all right. 26 losses, zero wins. He's 11 a journeyman. losses, zero wins. That's what journeymen are for. Zero wins, two wins. That was probably the best one he had. No, no the latest one was journeyman. 10 one. That was the best one he had. And he had Again, journeyman. Wins. They're all journeymen. Exactly. So... You can't you you can't suggest Tommy's gonna do that great when he's fought people like and this. He's supposed to be boxers too, man. man. He's been training. Going on about, the thing is, you keep going on about they're not boxers that he fought. But boxers these too. guys, bro, anyway. they might as well not be boxers. They might be from the you know cabbies or something. The, you know, the, look at the record, man. And so technically, Ing has only had three fights. Who? What's his name's only had three fights? Who's Fury. That? Say two fights. He's only had two fights. Uh, Jake Paul. Yeah, he's, because you can. He's only had two fights. He's had some terrible beginning fights. Of course, I agree. Because yeah. you can't even count Ben Askren in 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 that. But any anything him and before that. For Aaron me. Woodley, the first one you can count. The second one you can't. Yeah, because you know, you know both of them are money grabs. That's the most amount of money Tyrone Woodley's ever made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I give it to him for actually. Stepping up and calling for this fight with Tommy Fury, even though he knows uh, people keep saying that. I actually rate him for that. Do you know what they're also saying? If he beats Tommy Fury, they're going to rank him in the WBC cruiserweight. They're going to rank him. This is why um, it's if he oh, beats Tommy Fury. And if Tommy Fury obviously beats him, uh, KSI said, I'll fight him. But again, do you know what it is? It's look at the way he's been punching. If you watch his latest training video, yeah. His precision. People are, you know, there's a lot of fighters, professional fighters, who mm. are also saying Tommy Fury's got more precision. His punch is harder and he's faster too for his size than Jake Paul. It might end up being an early knockout. This is professionals. I don't see Tommy Fury that powerful. Nah, nah, I think it might be a 50 50, but I'm, after watching his latest training and the way he said, the way he was. Um, you know, he clarified that, you know, I wasn't going to leave training camp and, you know, my child and this, that, the other one, go out to Saudi for a 10-minute conference to miss out my training camp. You know, we could have done this afterwards. Yeah? Well, just for clout. You're a YouTuber. You wanted the clout. You got the clout. Yeah, you business, 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 business. 
Let me ask you another. Let's go on another topic. The, uh, have you seen? There's a lot of um, a lot of talking going on. Like, I feel like Tommy Fury's doing quite a bit of talking, like really, like going for it, saying, you know, this guy, he's a clown. He's getting knocked out. You know, yeah, in the first couple of rounds. What, what do you, how, how are you lot thinking about that? Do you think it sounds? I think I don't think it's going to be first round. I don't think it's going to be second round. I think it'll go, might go all the way. It might go all the way, and Tommy Fury might take it, or he's going to gas uh, Jake or Paul out by the fifth round, probably spark him out there. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't, I, you know, do you know? The thing is, yeah, I, I think, again, it's 50-50, because Jake Paul's been putting the effort in. Look, how many fights does he have now, Jake Paul? Uh, six. Six. Six fights. Between um, that, he's levelled up each time. He's got better, right? His gas tank's improving. He, his skill he work's He's got improving. nobody there telling him he's going to be left in Saudi Arabia, now, is he? <laughs> That's a yeah. lot of pressure, man. <laughs> yes, man, because he's... even if he wins, here's a point that Jake Paul, uh, Tommy Fury made. Even if he wins or even if he loses, gets knocked out, He's always going to have other YouTubers to fight. I got more to lose. If I lose to him, you know, I, you know, I got to think about my family name, about getting future fights and this that. The other, if yeah, I that's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? Let's put yeah. it a different way, right? Let's be embarrassing. He's got a lot to gain. Jake, Jake yeah. Paul's got Jake. a lot to gain. Yeah. Jake Paul ain't got nothing to lose. He's and just Tommy got, Fury got everything. Yeah, but if you've got nothing to lose, you got to remember he's got. If he's going to be put into that title, right? Yeah, he's got a lot to gain, but that's a big level up. You know, mm -hmm. so for him, I'd be like, if I was him, I'd be training hard. You know, I'd, after I'd that, he ain't fighting no more YouTubers. If he beats him, it's going to be going all the way because what well, he yeah. weighs in at cruiserweight or something, no? Mm. I think so. Yeah. So he's going to be fighting some good people, bros. But that's going to gonna... be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Yeah. I know you. Are the fight, fighting. you know, what? if he beats Tommy Fury, the fight after this is getting sparked up. Depends who he fights, isn't it? I yeah. reckon, um, I don't think he'll fight anyone like, Big name, you know, boxing. He'll, he'll, I think, I think he'll still look for someone that because I think he only picks people he can beat. Uh, and I think uh, Jake Paul, and that's why he's he believes quite strongly he can beat Tommy Fury. That's why he's picked him. Um, I only, I feel like he only will pick someone he can beat, like he believes he can beat. Um, I think he's gonna be tested. I, I think he really believes that the lady. <laughs> Yeah, I see what you mean. In terms of he, he can be, but I mean, I mean, well, I mean, was in two minds there. He was like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? Do you know what? Because the thing is, yeah, it's this one's 50 50. I was going to say, yeah, because this one is going to be one of those ones where you got. Because we don't know enough about both of them, really. Yeah. That's what, that's all, what I know, I all I do, do know is Jake Paul been training hard for three years and he wants, he, it's the effort. I like the effort. That's for me, that stands out. And the fact that he's got strong right hand, even though he's not crisp and technical, he's got power, man. And he's got a good chin. He has got a good chin. I've he's got a delusional belief system, bruv. And he's <laughs> very confident. Uh, he's very ballsy. Yeah, and he's very good. Cool. He's, he's got massive balls, bruv. You would know, maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. No, but... no, because you know what? <laughs> You're going to rate him for stepping into the ring, yeah? For th this time, yeah. he's actually going for a proper boxer. Yeah, even though the guy hasn't got that much experience in the ring, same as him. But you've got to give him that he's got balls. Anybody who steps in between those ropes, they got Yeah, balls. of course. Uh, and, yeah. and he's new to, he's new to the sport. But, you know, yeah. like, that's why I say Tommy Fury, I haven't seen all these things. I haven't seen none of these things. So I can't go with Tommy Fury for that reason. That's that's the whole reason why I'm going with Jake Paul. Because the opposite. He, I can't say the same. <clears throat> he might do a Liam Smith, innit? Who, Tommy Fury? Yeah. Jake Paul might do a Liam Smith to him. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I still want Jake Paul to lose. I, I, don't, I, I don't really mind. I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really mind. I don't like those. Um, I'm beginning to like as Jake Paul as a, a person. I'm beginning to like him. I think he's all right. You know, first, when he first came, I thought, get out of here, man. I thought, you idiot. As, yeah. a, as a person, how you can how can you like him as a person? The no, just a the way he's carrying oh. himself and, you know, he's Teacher. quite chill. Oh, 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 like he was at the outside the interview place. He was going, oh, my back, my back. Oh, yeah. I'm sick and tired of carrying. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It's Tommy Fury. You That's him like being cheap, back. isn't it? That's his thing. That's what he does. You know what I'm like? I like the um, humble uh, fighters and whatnot. 
Um, mm. In terms of Jake Paul, I, I like the way he's training. I've seen him level up, but again, I don't like that delusional belief system and that you know that cockiness in any fighter. You know, I yeah, but you have to have a bit of that. You have to have a bit of that if you want to move up. You know, if you want to, you have to have that. You have to have that kind of uh, aura about you. Yeah. Then again, then again, he's doing it outside the ring. I haven't seen him do it inside the ring. So mm. I, that's I, only I, very professional when it comes to the ring. But yeah, I'll actually take he that back. Obviously, does other stuff. He, <laughs> he says things and he does things. Yeah, I, I take that back. I don't mind it outside the ring. He, he does it a bit much compared to other people. Yeah, mm. but he's not done it in the ring. I think that's a, a deal breaker for me. When you do it in the ring, I want you to get sparked out. Yeah. Now, what I meant by outside the ring as well is like he's um. You know, he, he can just, like, do his own thing, but he's trying to help people as well. You know, like MMA fighters trying yeah, to get health, health care, like, pay their health care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So he's putting himself out there to help. And, you know, um, Amanda Serrano, was it, that uh, Port, um, Puerto Rican boxer, the one that fought uh, Taylor, Katie Taylor twice. Uh, you know, he's proper backing her a lot as well. You know, that's what I meant. Like, outside yeah, yeah, you've of you've got to respect him for that. I like that. You know, I like that side of him. That's what I meant. As I've seen things like that, I'm beginning to like him as a person, thinking, all right, you know, he's doing stuff that, you know, he doesn't really have to. Um, and, and he is. So that's the other reason I was saying that. All right, everybody. Um, that was a fun and interesting conversation. Uh, it looks like Dil, Raz, and me have not changed our positions in what no. happened. Sorry, Dil. I said, hell no, I ain't changing hell my no. yeah. I'm with you all day, baby. <laughs> and uh, me and Raz, we're still 50-50. But on the day, let's see what happens. Uh, it helps. Dil just scared that Fury's not going to turn up to get food from him. No, no, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want him to see this. <laughs> but yeah. No, there no. are local lads, man. So, uh, you know, obviously I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think... Don't worry, they'll still come and get the takeaway from you, bro. <laughs> Sorry, finish off, finish off. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I can drop that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, everyone, uh, we, we're glad you actually joined us. And definitely leave a comment. Let us know who you think is going to win. Um, anything you agree or disagree with, let us know in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We'll catch you in the next one.